Let's see if you can hear the problem. Hear that? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's in the uh, back of the uh, passenger side, the dextral side. So what happens, right, is uh, at around, it gets a little louder and louder as it decays. It's the uh, wheel hub bearing for the rear. And uh, as you go faster, it gets louder. And as it decays, the speed at which, it's, when it starts, becomes lower and lower. So that is what we're gonna try to fix. And that's how you start the diagnostic process. I'm going to listen for that sound. Okay, let's get another uh, assessment about this right, so you can kind of tell. So I put a, uh, the lug nut on with this wrench so you can get a feel. So we can turn this and listen. See how tough that is? You hear the sound? All right, it's not supposed to sound like that. It's supposed to turn without that Okay, so we have a couple things we're gonna have to address, right? Got a lot of work to do. This rotor is messed up, right? This caliper, I already tested this, but I'll show you anyway. This caliper is also seized. Um, I'll take the caliper off, do the same test again. You can really hear hear the um, hear how messed up the uh, uh, hub. Right, we have two 17 millimeter bolts, one here, another one below. Let's pull that off. Other 17 millimeter. Calibers up and out of the way, right? And um, this doesn't really press down much anymore. All right. All right, so now that we get the rotor by itself, right? No, nothing should be dragging on it. All right, so you can kind of hear this. Hear that? Burr, burr. Okay, so that's how I know that the either axle or the hub is uh, the, I'm sorry, um, world breaks. Uh, the hub assembly is like uh, frozen. The, the, there's a bearing inside of there that's frozen. Or it's not frozen, it's almost just failing. So because it's failing, it's no longer turning well and you're getting a humming sound, you know? All right, so we are still in the diagnostic stage, right? We're gonna look at the caliper. All right, okay, so we have, um, let me try a different way to test this. Right. You go like this. I put, see, I put the other uh, brake shoe right next to this one. I'm gonna jam a screwdriver in here. And I'm gonna push on that so you can see the piston move, right? how easily it moves. So it moves very, 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 very difficult with a, with a lot of effort. Sorry. So it's it's not easy, right? So that right there is a giveaway. This piston is not. It's moving smoothly and is compromised, right? Now when you do this, right, remember the uh, you gotta let the uh, up front on the uh, brake cylinder, on the brake where you place the 
brake fluid reservoir, you need to open up the cap because you need the pressure, the back pressure to escape so that we don't get any false positives in your test. Yeah, okay, so that's not going anywhere. It should be much easier than that. So we need the cowl. Now these screws can be a little annoying, but you're gonna get these off with uh, using the impact screwdriver. So you push in and you turn while you hit it. Now these screws can be a little annoying, but you're gonna get these off with uh, using the impact screwdriver. So you push in and you turn while you hit it. I think I gotta like uh, adjust the uh, brake underneath because it's uh, the park brake. It's gonna be pushed out a little too much. So your e brake is right in here. And it's a little leftover relic of technology. And it's Turning up makes it uh makes it compress. So if you go in the right direction. So I thought I was. Maybe you gotta go down. Sounds looser. Yep, there it is. So you gotta turn downwards on the passenger side. All right, so we're gonna need a new rotor. If you were wondering what I was turning, it was this right here. See that? So that hole, it's a serviceability hole for it. So you can adjust it. So turn it downwards, loosens it up, upwards it'll tighten it up. And uh, this is a, this is your uh, emergency brake. When you pull up your handbrake, that's what this is. It's this whole outside part here expands and it pushes, it pushes against the inside of this rotor. See how it's all shiny. That's what that works. So at this point, I'm not gonna be talking much more because I'm gonna put my respirator. There's all of the brake particulates in the air and this is all cancerous, so follow. So this is a, an all-wheel drive. We're changing the axle also. It's going to be a little different for you if you don't have an all-wheel drive. If you only have a front-wheel drive. 
CRV. This is a Honda CRV 2007. So you won't have uh, as much work to do. It'll be a little easier if it's all wheel drive. How do I know it's all wheel drive? Because that right there, we're gonna have to remove. You don't have that in a two front wheel drive. That's an axle. I think it's power from the uh, engine all the way back here. All right? That's a 36 millimeter nut. And I gotta spray this down with a lot of brake parts cleaner because the particulates are so dangerous. So my concern was this would be frozen, this axle, but it flows quite smoothly. So we're lucky that it'll be easy to get out. If not, you'd have to put like a some kind of a press, like on the lip, and kind of like push that out. You want to make sure that moves first. You can't get that out. You're just going to be fighting with stuff forever. So, again, make sure this moves, okay? There's especially a tool for it, but you should be able to use like a clamp on it and just kind of push on it. Don't use a hammer because you'll, you know, you'll mess this up. You don't want to do that. How will you mess it up? Well, the vibration could destroy. It depends on what you're trying to fix. If you're trying to take this axle off, you can use this video because we're going to move this, pull this axle out, you know? Uh, if you're just trying to like get the bearing out, this hub bearing, you don't want to damage any of the, the parts that's inside of there, like the hub itself. So it, it all depends on what you're trying to do, but you know, there's a proper tool for the job. So let's get the right tool. Okay, there's four bolts that's holding us on, right? So. One here. See that? One. Another one right here. Actually, they're they're not. Yeah, bolts. We're trying to pull bolts. There's another one right back there. There's another one right there. See? Okay. Here's the problem, right? Well, these are all. Easy enough to get at, right? You have right here, oops, sir. What can you see? Right there, right here, this bluish colored one. You have another, this one over here. But this, on the other hand, on the, on the other side over here, is really hard to get at, right? This one here is, ugh, I can't even. But you can see well, that one is hard to get at. So I'm gonna try to get that one off first. I want to show you what's a pain in the butt. You see the uh, see right here, on the axle right there. That is stopping me from getting into the bolt. So how am I gonna get past this? Right. Well, I'm go like this. Okay. Turn this yeah, just a little bit here. All right, not too much, and it bumps up against the other bolt. We got the universal adapter on there, extension. The impact on it, come on. You can do it. Roll in there. Come on, checking in with the team. All right, get the roll in here. All right, here we go. Glasses on. I think that, that's considered a success. All right, good, good. So that's the first one we pulled off. Okay. Uh, three more.
on. the fight a lot. Right, let's try this without the extension. Extensions tend to uh, diminish torque. So this might work. If not, try something else. Come on, get in there. This as straight as possible, yeah? Right, here we go. Well, that worked. There you go. Grab a semi should just come right about now, right off. Just, just, yep, just like that. Lucky us. Okay. So now this moves, lucky us. Because we got to get this axle out, and I thought I'd be able to pull it right through, but no, I'm going to have to pull a lot of this stuff off. That's going to mess with the alignment a little, if I don't get it right. Oh well. So I decided to just test this right again. I think I'm totally wrong. I think this is totally fine. I think. And compare it against the other one. So, I don't hear any grinding sounds. Which makes me think it's the axle that failed. Yeah, we'll figure it out. See that sensor right there? That. Be careful, don't break that. So these bolts here need to... This is what we use to line up the rear into a wheel alignment. And uh, I just need to try to kind of mark this. You know? Because it'll help me put it back together. work. Might not. I'm going to give it a try. Maybe one more. I can't really see under there, can I? Oh well. We'll do two. Now, here's the thing. This bolt often gets stuck inside that rubber because it's just been there for a while. So... I a couple things here. We had a 17 millimeter on that side here. Okay. Use the impact on that side. On this side here, we have a uh, 14 millimeter holding on to that right there. Can I push 
hotel. That's the problem. Hmm. Might be a fight. Open that, but might be a fight. Let's see. This right here is what's used for alignment. So I have some marks on there. Maybe that might work. So it's like, so it, uh, look at it. So it's like shaped. <laughs> Can I get close? So it's like shaped a little funny. Yeah, good. When you do the alignment, you turn it to get the wheel to match the angle of the wheel itself. How much it's going to pitch when you look at the back of the car, left or right. So that's what this does. Uh, let's see if we can uh, kind of spray this a little bit. Let's get this. Tap this out. So I put the bolt back on, right? Because I want to just kind of like tap on it like that. Wow, look at us. Oh man, how are we so lucky? I'll take it. I'll take it any day. A lot of preventative uh, maintenance on this too for the next mechanic. This guy uh, broke down right in front of me, right? You don't believe the reason why he broke down. Ran out of gas. In other words, his gas gauge works, but he ran out of gas. What kind of grown-ass man drives around and not know how much gas he has? Craziness. Just say hard off, hard on. Oh, I think it's crunchy. Guard. 
Uh, damn it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's the prize. Here's a moment of truth. The other fight. Will this axle come right out? Another fight. Oh my god. This is actually way easier than I thought. Alright, let's pull this axle out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So what do we have here? Okay. So make sure we have the same exact part. Look so different. Hmm. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Flip it around. There you go. Okay, now we're talking. That looks like that. I probably just cracked that boot when I pulled on it. It goes all the way down to here. That is roughly the same, isn't it? Seems like it's not actually the same. So we got. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're good. We are good. Alright, let's get that. Alright. Get that through there. The right side now. Okay. Hmm. I do think I want to clean this off a little bit. Let's clean it off. I think we should put a little light coat of grease on it too. We need to clean that out. Some brake parts clean all in there. See all that crud? Yeah.
And we're gonna degree. Come on, man. I'm a chef at a hotel. You need my help? <laughs> chef. Like, always you cooking up something. The spatula if you need. <laughs> always cooking up something. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> This grease will really help with the, uh, the next mechanic. Well, the next repair. Something I'm gonna have to do on this. Hi, right, here's our new hub assembly, and uh, I'm turning it. Oh yeah, by the way, part number Moog five one two three four five. Wow, that's pretty easy to remember. Okay. Something else on there? No, that's it. Okay. So. Okay, so. Here we go. Turning it. It's got the same amount of resistance as the old one. Here's the old one. Alright, so what do I think happened here? Right? I think that the axle is really the problem when the axle failed. That's what I think happened.
priceless. Oh, that's better. So I'm not using any impact to tighten these down. Well, I don't want to ruin any threads, so I'm gonna do it by hand. So I noticed that this has a little bit of a lobe on it also. Didn't mark that. Mm. Mark the other side. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to really need a alignment. No matter what. Alright, so... I'm going to grease this... bolt up a lot. future. That's the plan. So that jack right here uh, helped me get the hole lined up. Some 
face into that hole. Bolts all anti-seized up. Tighten it all the way up. I'm going to come back around the other side and see if I can get that lined up first. Now, let's see what the hell we can do here with this. So notice, and I can't really get this seated all the way down. Oh, there we go. Okay. So. That's pretty much where that was. We got an anti seize on there already, so. I need two 17s on this. One in the front, one in the back. It's not a 17 mag, that's a 14 in the back. Now you got to make sure that this uh, the bolt in the back, the oblong shape, is sitting inside of the that that space that it's for. Otherwise, you're gonna have problems. Just like how this is, sits in that shape right there. We gotta get that seat into that shape. All right. So how are we gonna do that? It looks like. Looks like. Mm hmm. Needs to move over, right? Up, down, I don't really know. There we go. Okay. Alright, so. Make sure the back is still. Yeah, we gotta keep the back pushed in. Back is pushed in. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see how well we get this to work. I'm just pushing tension on the back of the bolt so it doesn't slide out of that groove. Use for alignment. 
Okay. guarantees and this is a great alignment job but we're going to take it there you go even the th mark on the nut lines up all right i think we did a good job all right so i don't know what you can see oh, there you go so you see how so that shape it needs to sit inside of that groove right there. I'll make sure it sits inside of there. If it's not, we're gonna have a problem. Look at that. Routine here. Red sorrel colored um, Honda. Honda Civic? No, Honda. Odyssey, 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 the SUV. I had no, uh, ran out of gas. New ass car. I'm like, come on, man, you're a grown ass man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, how do you run out of gas? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I was like, my sympathy just dropped for this cat. I was like, he comes over to me, you know, because, you know, I'm out here, right? Yeah. He's like, can I get a. Do you have a gas tank? I'm like, man, get out of here in my head. You're a grown ass man. How, how does a grown ass man with a brand new ass car, right, with a functional gas gauge and run out of gas? Out of gas? Exactly. I was like, man, you must be kidding me, man. Get out of here. So yeah, I just ignored his ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I just couldn't do it, Jack. I was like, I had a gas tank right there. You know what yeah. I mean? I could have given it to him. But I was like, no, man, man, you're a grown man. Out of the yeah, he pushed it right behind this uh, Acura right here, and then um, the yeah, him and his boy like drove over her and, and took him to the gas station. I was like, All right, they, <laughs> you'll never do that again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> he even told me he was like, oh yeah, man, I, I knew there was low. I just kept on driving. I was like, well, the thing, you you know it needs gas, right? Like all cars do, they need gas. Yeah. I was like, what is this guy doing? Alrighty, so here is our new caliper. Alright. Right, so we got a new bolt here. Need it. This thing is super slick. Brake fluid, super slick. Crush wash on first. Right. Then we have another crush washer back here. Right, so we're gonna go like this. that through that like that. Take this here. Kind of keyed, so you can't really mess up. Right. 
as you see, nothing but my arm, right? Okay, that's good. So that's started. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so that's all right. This little pesky friend of ours has a bolt back here. Uh, I mean, a nut back here. Right. You need to hold that. to this. So this should just slide right out. Don't destroy the boot. Do one at a time because uh, they do, for some reason I remember um, being a little uh, specific. Let's let you know this for the caliper. This is the great part. Right there. Weaver 19 B6 887. That's the uh, brake caliper. And the brake shoes. These are the brake shoes we're going to use. Brembo P2805 51N. Okay, Brembo. So this is a new rotor. It's an AC Delco 18A2389AC. Um, yeah. All right, good. And that's enough information for you to find it. Uh, where you can read all the other parts. I'll put the part number and stuff in it. Just to grease this outer lip here. Sorry, like I just did. Don't put any in the e brake. No grease is supposed to be on the e brake. Set screws there. Uh, 
Yeah. That's lined up. Okay. Good. Clean this grease off. Uh, I should use a cleaner rag. Uh, oh yeah, that's even better. What is going on here? I'm not wiping that off. Okay, so we got the uh, these screws. Yeah, we're gonna need to put some anti seize on that. You know what? I forgot to check. Make sure that there's no rust on that. No, it wouldn't be because it's brand new, right? Okay, never mind. Usually you want to clean the rust off the hub, you know? And this hub is brand new. One time I did a job on an Acura TSX. Oh my god, I was so proud of that job. And then the uh, damn client of mine kept on saying, my wheel's wobbling, right? And I was like, oh, I don't know how that's possible. Well, sure enough, wheel's wobbling because I didn't clean off the rust. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't clean off the Rust. The damn thing had an amazing run out. I was like, wow, I don't know how a little bit of rust can do that. Well, put it like this it broke off the wheel stud because it was so bad. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get a better job. Done with the other brake shear. So I'm gonna just fight in for a while. Try to get that on there. I don't know if it's gonna be easy. Just slide that on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Looks like it's getting ready to fight me already. Get that in there. Grease the ends of these. And like that, and you put a whole nice chunk of grease back here. Because you don't it's really struggled a lot with getting this damn thing on. So uh, hopefully it'll get a little easier this time, right? It's good to get the order right. You know, I just didn't have the order, so I had to put things on in a different way. Okay. So we're gonna put this on. This caliper on first. Mm -hmm.
Look at what anti seize back there, actually. So, got that. Look at this. Loosen that top one off again. So didn't put any anti seize on it. It's 18 millimeter. Okay, so with that on. All right, it's gonna keep it loose. I'll put the uh, brake shoe one for this side first. That should be like that. Here on. Make sure it sits nice, nicely between there. Yeah, oops. Okay. Uh, sits nicely there. And then we want to get this on in between here. I hate, I hate this thing that doesn't hold on there properly. Okay, so now, right? Be able to go up and over like that. Oops, I'm kind of okay. All right. Now I need to get these bolts in. Put some anti seize on these also. I don't think it's really necessary because they don't really, they do, they don't really get a lot of torque. They're not really exposed a lot to the like elements. You know, they tend to always be easy to come off. these just because there are, they are on a weird angle. Weird angles. Dead giveaway for potentially getting stripped. Alright, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to hold this, remember? You're gonna hold that. It would be adjustable. So you're gonna cross between it. I can tell it was like kind of cross threaded. So. It, it did not cross threaded. It felt like it was going to cross thread. It did not. So let's get that on there. Come on. Here onto that. 
All right, so we, that's what we got set up. We have our bleeder hose here into this container with a small little hole punched into it. A little bit of brake fluid at the bottom of it so the hose sits inside of it. All right, we're going to loosen this up. This is a 10 millimeter up top here. Okay, that loosened, right? We're going to go pump the brake. Remember, you, you want to pour brake fluid into the... Uh, into the uh, front, into the brake reservoir. Brake fluid. Keep doing that till the break gets harder. And then that fills up, okay? All right, so I'm gonna tighten this back up. All right, pull it off. That's how much it filled up. Start off with down here. That little, you know, I saw darkness because the brake fluid needs to be uh, cleaned every now and then. Your system, you know. Okay, so now that we got that done. We're gonna put the, uh, I believe this is it, yeah. Wow, we did it. Hey listen, thanks for hanging out. I had a good time, hope you'd. All right, so I'm gonna tighten this back up. All right. Pull it off. And that's how much it filled up. Start off with down here. That little, you know I saw darkness because the brake fluid needs to be uh, cleaned every now and then. You're Oh, let's put this axle on. This axle nut that is. Uh, get some anti seize on here. Castle axle nut. Thirty-six millimeter. Don't get your glasses. Every time you use the air tool, put on your glasses. Sometimes. You work on toy cars? Sometimes I do. You know how to fix toy cars? Yeah. No, he ain't you can, can, calling it. Something wrong with your toy car? Yes. What's wrong with your Well, you about to put this on YouTube? Yeah. You got a YouTube channel? Mm hmm What is it? It's Motion Design Studio. Okay. So, guys. So, you design stuff? Yeah. So, guys, you see so how y'all see it? He's fixing his Stop car. Stop it, I mean. Yo, so you see that? He, he, covered, he covered the camera. Don't touch, so. it, don't touch it. Don't touch the camera. He covered the camera. Oh, guys, he's fixing the don't camera. Don't do that. Hey, come on. He's fixing the camera. Why would you do that? Now they're going to see a black hand in it. Okay, that's good. Step away. Step away from the camera. Step away from the camera. Step away from the camera. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. All right. So so all good. All right. Oh, this your car? It's not my car. But it's a car. How about you get paid for it? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. But um, we need to bring him our toy car since he work on toy cars and we can drive the toy car to and from the car. Uh, but I only got one seat. <laughs> <laughs>
in one seat, huh? You're gonna need more seats. You got a lot of friends with you. <laughs> they can walk. Oh. They, that's what they got I, legs for. God gave them legs to walk, not to drive, okay? Uh, but how can, we, how can we get to drive? Because I'm special, okay? Right? You're not special. Why? She said she's special. I'm gonna look this up and see what he do. She must be special. What's your name? You. Special. Huh? I'm special. You. That's fine. You. What's your name? Kwame. What is it? Kwame. Diavion. I'm Lex. I mean, my name is Diavion. No, it's I mean. My name is Diavion. I mean. Wait, no, it's I mean. No, it's Diavion. Stop lying to yourself. <laughs> but what if my I name mean. really was Diavion? This is your house. That'd right be a here? cute name. Uh, nope. Yes, my name is. But you know you could cut his hand says. on YouTube. You know you could cut his hand out of the um. Yeah, but people want to see what I'm doing. That's the problem. So. My name is Destiny, I would, I would, I would rather go by Dez. Dez? Okay. We'll yeah, Dez. Dez. We'll call you Dez. I need Dez. Or Desmond. Yo, we bring up Cornette. Okay, Dan saw me. Bad person, Santa. So, Bad she's gonna shit no Indian pot, no brother. But ain't it 6 30 and we supposed to be home? We gotta get home. We about to be in trouble. Get no, in trouble. No, y'all about to be in trouble. Thanks for talking. I'm, I'm allowed. I'm allowed Thanks to be No, we ain't you allowed. But Kwamir, we gotta get a Kwamir and a meal home. Maybe we can go back around. Alright, well, thanks for talking. Have a good day. Uh, bye. 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 See you. Goodbye. Okay, we're older than y'all. We use a lot of y'all. too. Alright. The kids. The kids. Hopefully that was as fun for you as it was for me. Well, anyway, listen, uh, thanks for uh, hanging out. Hope you liked the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, go ahead and put them below. And share the video with your friends, alright? Thanks again.